panel of judges officially deciding to go ahead with three Democratic senators recall elections following a day of discussion of allegations of fraud. News 3 political reporter Jess Garp joins us live with the Government Accountability Board. She has the very latest tonight. Jess? Well, Eric, just in the last 15 minutes, judges have verified thousands of signatures against three Democratic se senators here in the state, clearing the way for recall elections for all three of them on July 19th. As you said, that is after a day of judges considering exactly how to handle allegations of widespread fraud by circulators of petitions against Democrats. I'm not willing to throw them all out, but I think we have to send a message. Six judges on the Government Accountability Board have been hearing arguments all day about fraud alleged against circulators of petitions against three Democratic senators, Jim Holperin, Bob Wirch, and Dave Hansen, alleging circulators misled some voters to sign the pages and were even paid per signature to do so. Republicans say there is no proof of fraud perpetrated here and said only individual challenge signatures should be thrown out. The problem is the kind of issues raised by these petitions <coughs> make it impossible to know what the will of the electorate was. What Mr. Levinson is asking you to do in this case is to take what amounts to the kind of most, most speculative evidence. None, the evidence that would be thrown out of court would not be admissible in any court. Now, judges did approve some measures to throw out signatures on pages where there was a circulator who, uh, and voters who said they were defrauded by a specific circulator in this case. That added up to about some 200 signatures, which was, of course, not enough to overcome the thousands that were present to trigger these recalls. And now, at this point, that will mean that three recalls will go forward for these Democrats on July 19th. Recalls for six Republican senators will take place a week before on July 12th. All right, Jess Garp, live downtown tonight. Jess, thank you very much.